Hi, Steve Fischrado here from Horizon Hobby. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do gimbal control using your stock radio. Now, this is for you folks that have the AP Combo version of the 350QX3 with the Seago 2 3-axis gimbal and camera. We've integrated a way for you to adjust the gimbal in the air while flying while not adding any other cost to the radio or any of the switches to the radio. What we've done is uh, added a switch over here on the right called throttle control and gimbal control. What you'll need to do is, of course, we'll, we'll turn on our model first, turn the radio on, then turn the model on, and I'm going to go ahead and set this here so you can see it. Now, while you're on the ground, you can adjust the gimbal, and you can also adjust the gimbal in the air. On the ground, you can adjust the gimbal up and down indefinitely, so we'll go ahead and flip the uh, gimbal control switch to the gimbal control position. That's going to give our throttle stick control of the gimbal. Of course, if I pull the stick down, the gimbal's going to look down. You can see it go there nice and slow. And then if I want to go up, I just hold the throttle stick up, and I can select the angle that I want the gimbal. Now, if I'm in the air and I want to do the same thing, what we've done is we've enabled this same thing to work, but the model will go ahead and lock into GPS. It'll lock into the altitude that you have it at, and you can flip gimbal control to the switch down to gimbal control, and you have about three to five seconds to adjust the gimbal uh, through the throttle stick. So you're not going to be giving throttle or descending. You're not going to be giving the model an input to go up or down. You're actually going to be controlling the gimbal in this way. Uh, but it's, it's only available for about three to five seconds while you're in the air. If you're on the ground, it's indefinite. You can do it for as long as you want, but in the, in the air, it does that. Uh, if, you're, if you're in the gimbal control position in the air and you get past that five seconds, it's going to go right back to throttle control so that you don't have any issues while you're flying. Just, if you want to re-access gimbal control, all you'll need to do is cycle that switch up and down, and then you're going to have gimbal control again. All right, so keep in mind, too, this is the stock radio. If you have a higher-end spectrum radio, such as the DX9, for instance, you can access the gimbal control on a slider while you're flying the model. So uh, it was a way to keep this radio, really good radio, give you control, as well as um, give you an option to upgrade in the future if you want to have that, that full control over your gimbal while you're flying. If you have more questions, guys, please check us out. Uh, go to bladequad.com or bladehelis.com or facebook.com slash bladehelis for more information. I hope this helps. Thanks.